The Wigwam test was part of Operation Wigwam, a joint project between the United States Atomic Energy Commission AEC, and the United States Department of Defense DOD. The goal of the project was to evaluate the effectiveness of nuclear weapons against naval vessels and underwater structures, as well as to gather data on the underwater shock wave produced by a nuclear explosion. The Wigwam test itself involved the detonation of a 30 kiloton nuclear bomb, which was suspended from a steel frame mounted on the bottom of the ocean, approximately 2,000 feet, 610 meters, below the surface. The bomb was lowered into position by a series of cables attached to a surface vessel. The test was conducted on May 14, 1955, in the Pacific Ocean, about 500 miles, 805 kilometers, southwest of San Diego, California. The explosion produced a large underwater shock wave, which was detected by instruments located both on the surface of the ocean and on the sea floor. The test was classified for many years, and little information was released about its results or the effects of the explosion. However, in the 1990s, declassified documents and footage of the test were released to the public. This information revealed that the explosion produced significant underwater shock waves, which were capable of causing damage to nearby structures. While the Wigwam test was not the largest or most well-known of the nuclear tests conducted by the United States, it was an important part of the nation's nuclear testing program, providing valuable data on the effects of nuclear explosions in an underwater environment.